Well, good morning, guys. How are we? It's a lovely windy day. I'm back out. Back out to Bronze Age land today. Don't expect much for here. I'm actually just come up to look for bullets uh, for a display that I'm making. And uh, yeah, we'll just crack on this morning and see what we get. I've just dug this hole. This must be about 10 inches. Easy. And this has come out, and I think it may be the first bullet. Ah, and it's smashed and all. Gutted. Well, I thought that was going to be the first bullet. It's definitely a bullet, it was just smashed. There you go. Nice bullet to start us off, and we'll see what else we can get. So I've been walking about for ages, right? I get a signal, fill the hole back up there, decide no, I'm going to go back and investigate the hole. But as I go to investigate the hole, I notice the signal has disappeared, right? And I'm not getting it, so I've got to go max power. And here we are, I found it. That is iron. Is it or is that no? A canister shot? I think that's a canister shot, do you know that? Possible canister shot there from a cannon. Oh, amazing if it is. Maybe a little grape shot or something like that. But it's definitely made of iron. That was why it disappeared on the program. Wow, amazing. There you go. Lovely little canister shot. Woohoo! Well, I've just had the next find and it's a little saddler's badge, so let's take you around and we'll have a wee look and see if we can see any writing or anything like that on it. So here we are, a wee saddler's badge. I can't see any writing on it. There might be a bit in the middle there, but we'll need to get that cleaned up when we get it home. But that definitely looks like a little saddler's badge. Yep. So we'll get it cleaned up when we get it home. Well, the next one out is another smashed Enfield. That's part of another Enfield, but uh, yeah, another little bullet. It's what I'm looking for, but I've not found one hole yet. This used to be a great little firing spot. I think during World War II they practiced here, but it looks like somebody's been up and cleaned it out. Yeah, because there is not a lot left, so there you go. A little bullet Enfield. Well, just dug that from out of there. Not too deep, about four inches. And that is a little bit of World War II bomb shrapnel, just as I was saying. They used to fire up here in World War II, there you go. A little bit of shrapnel pops out. There you go, love a little bomb shrapnel. You can always tell bomb shrapnel by the lines on it. That's how you can decipher what it is. Well here we are, first coin of the day, and I've ever really had up here. It's normally always been really old, as in Georgian. Let's have a look and see who this is. I believe I know that's George's Six. Oh wow. Oh well, George's Six Penny. I'll take it any day. There you go. Well, look at this. I missed that. As I got the George's Six Penny, it must have fell off the penny. And there you go. Look at that. A little bit of silver's come out as well with it. Look at that. George the Fifth. Sixpence, hoo hoo, get in. Yep, little Georgia fifth sixpence here. Get in a wee bit of silver. Beautiful, just when you least expect it. I love that. I wasn't going, I just don't know what made me run my coil. I always do that, but I've not been doing it today, but I just ran my coil over that just to make sure. And there you go, I love the little sixpence as well. Woo hoo! Well, the next one out is this, and that is a little buckle. It's still got its leather attached to it, but yeah, that is a lovely little buckle, little relic. There you go, nice little buckle. Well, I've just dug this out here, and I think that is another saddler's badge. Yeah, look at that, we're going to get some writing off this one as well. You can just see it in there. Definitely some writing on this one, so we'll get some writing off this one. I don't have any watery clean these right now, so I do apologise. I'll get them clean when I get them home and we'll get a wee better look at them. But yeah, there you go. Another little saddler's badge. Well, here you are. Look at that. That's a really early George in there. Oh, I just hope there's going to be something on that. There'll be something on that when I get it home, but I just don't know what it is right now. And it's a Georgian anyway, a lovely old Georgian coin. Could even be older than Georgian. <laughs> when I first seen it, I thought Charles, but it's kind of got that Georgian thickness, but Charles had that thickness as well. 
me and Apple get it home and we'll let you know what it is on the roundup. Believe it or not, I've took to walking a big hill. <laughs> and on the hill I'm absolutely finding stuff everywhere. <laughs> and there's the first bullet that I've been looking for, and that's a lovely little Enfield. Get in. Exactly what I'm looking for for my wee display. Well there you go, it's another one I've finally found what I'm looking for. Enfield, woohoo! We Enfield bullet, get in. There you go, another little bullet. There you go, there's another one come out. This one's a flattened musket ball, I think that is. Yep, looks like a flattened musket ball. There we go, another one's come out. One, two, three, that's a flattened little three ringer. Well, it's not flattened, but it'll yeah, go good in a display. I'm going to do a display of smashed bullets and of full bullets. So, yeah, there you go, a lovely little three ringer. Next one out is another bullet, and it is a free ringer again. Another little free ringer bullet. Well, this is a hill that I'm walking. <laughs> and believe it or not, I'm actually finding bullets all over the hill. So there you go, a little free ringer bullet. Well, guys, I can truly say I think I found a fire ranger. And there you go, loads and loads of smashed bullets, but I'm still going. The sun's going down up there. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to keep going for another five minutes and then I'm going to head for that exit because it's very easy to get lost up here. So, five minutes more, see if I can get any more bullets and let's see what we can get. Well, there you go, another flattened free ringer bullet. Let's keep going because I'm sure there's more. There's got to be another one of these here hole for me. There you go, that one's a little one, two, three, four ringer bullet. There you go, four ringer. Closest I've came to one hole, but yeah, it's a little four ringer bullet. Well, there we go. Look at that, a little four ringer. That's near enough hole. Well, that's as good as it goes. Where you go and you're covering with me. <laughs> there you go, lovely four ringer bullet. That's coming home from my display. Well, there you go. Look at that. That's another little four ringer. Nearly hole again. Please with that. Don't find too many four ringers here, so I'm chuffed with that. Try and get as many of these as I can before the sun goes down. Well, there we go, look at that, a lovely little four ringer bullet again. Woohoo! I could dig stuff like this all day. I was supposed to meet a guy who got in a firing range, but uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, he never got back to me, so we'll just see what happens. And uh, I'm going to try and meet up with the guy again soon. And because uh, it's over the other side of Glasgow, so hopefully uh, we'll be able to catch up again soon. Right guys, there you go, look at that, a lovely little Enfield bullet. Woohoo! That one's whole, thank god. No, it's a man, it's a V3 ringer hole. <laughs> that would make my day. A beautiful sun shining over as it's about to set over the horizon. You know, that means it's going to get dark soon. Well guys, it's been a great day's detecting. I wish you could see this sunset the way I'm seeing it. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at that man, that's not the best sunset you'll ever see, I don't know what it is. So on that note guys, I'm going to call it a day for this hunt, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll catch you guys on the roundup and show you all the finds. Bye for now. Hi guys, welcome along to the roundup for this video. We were looking for a firing range I'd found, previously part of this firing range before, and it had lots of bullets on it, but somebody's cleaned it out. I found a part that hadn't been cleaned out, shame, it's the part with the target which is a shame, uh, but it makes me kind of wonder uh, where that firing range was because it's now not where I thought it was, I think it's a couple of fields over so next time we'll go there, we'll go a couple of fields over and see what we can find over there well I did manage to get a couple of bullets from my display four ringers Enfields another Enfield Enfield four ringer, four ringer Lots of smashed ones and kind of squashed ones as well. All in all, it was a great hunt. Uh, look at this saddler's badge. A wee picture of a horse on it. Looks like WM... Uh, is it Macorico? Glasgow? Lovely wee pictorial of a horse there. Lovely. Bit of bomb shrapnel. This one here is the surprise of the day. 
and I'm going to have to wet it to show you why and I don't know if I've got anything clean because I've just been cleaning I don't know what's this this is absolutely amazing and hard to see at the same time can you see that in the middle it's like a leaf going out leaf going out up the way and there's a slight crown that is a bobby Charles II, when I dug that up, I says to you, I says that's got the thickness of Charles to it. I think that's a lovely, either Charles I or second Bobby. There you go. Beautiful. That's got a bit of age to it. This land I've always only ever had George I, second or third coins off of. Now we're getting back to Charles, so there must be a must there to give some of the other fields a go. A lovely bit of silver. George V, six pins. Silver, just beyond the hundred percent silver. Two P. This one here is jaw to the six as well. You might just see him kicking through. Victorian button, and it was a hard days detecting. This one here is another Sadler's badge, but it's hard to make out what is on it. There is a wee bit of writing down here, but I just can't make it out. It's so badly gone. But again, it is another little Saddler's badge. We might be returned here because I like the fact that I got that, you know, Charles II Bobby. And, uh, or it could even be Charles I. It could even be older for all I know. There is lots and lots of Bronze Age history in this area. So, you know, fingers crossed we'll get something nice. But again, I'm looking for bullets for a display. I know I've got hundreds from Dumbarton for sure, but that's going to be a separate display. There's going to be a display for... I'll do a display on every area that I do. So that's what I'm going to start doing, putting a couple of displays together and I'll show you guys once I'm done. And uh, this was one that I'm looking for and hopefully I'm going to message Stuart and see if I can catch up with him at some point as well. Maybe next week or something like that, see if we can arrange to get out in his firing range as well. And <coughs> uh, that note guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video. Good luck, happy hunting and I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.